Yo, welcome to Music is a Day Job. I'm your host, Sean, and this is brought to you by the Concert App. The Concert App is the artist accelerator app that takes artists from opener to on opener to headliner to on tour and gives the fan the best experience in independent live music. Now, today we're going to talk directly about how to book a show, but we're doing it through the Concert App. So I want to be totally like... Um, the first, the first, uh, I guess you can kind of say statement that I'll say is we aren't in every state yet, but we're hoping to get to every state. So if you're in a state that we aren't in currently, definitely tell everyone to get on so you can start doing it this easy too, because then we can get into those states and um, that'll make it easy for you to do the same thing. So for artists that are in these states that we're in, of course, we're now in Arizona, we're in Utah, we're in Colorado, we're in um, California, on Southern California, we're about to be in Texas, we're in Michigan, and we're about to be in Indiana, so we're working on Arkansas currently, and we're also working on uh, Tennessee, so as we get into more states, it'll be easier for you to do this too, so booking on the app. This is how easy it is to book a show. See, back in the day, you had to do everything. You had to find a promoter. You had to, you know, like either you had to find a promoter, getting good with a promoter, and a promoter had to want to book you. Had you sending EPKs, everything, doing all this stuff to get on the show. Or you had to go pay a bunch of money for a venue and get your own show like that. And then to stay consistent, then you had to have money to consistently do this. And then you had to find different venues, get into venues in other cities, everything like that on this app. All you have to do is download the app. It's free. You make a profile and then you just click on open slots. And so what we what we want to do here, though, is it we try to give the shows to the artists that are um, trying to show progression. Also, we try to get new artists on some of the shows. So we try to give a percentage of these shows to new artists so then they can get their chance to show where they rank up and where they need to be or what help they need to get to the next level. So you have artists that can be doing decent and can be kind of moving. Um, I guess you can say uh, some are moving slower than others. Some are moving fast. Inside that. Uh, you get on the app, you, you click a slot. Hopefully you're picking places like, cause some people just want to go to a new place that they have no fans. And the logic of that is you want to be in places that you have fans because that's what you want to show where you where you stand at, because then it makes it easier to be like, Hey, this kid's popping over here. Let's have him switch with this kid. So then when he has a dope show, this kid can come over there. And then when the other person has a dope show, we can go over to that spot. That other person can go to that spot and then they can gain fans. Some people just want to jump on and get into other cities. And that that's OK if we have enough room on the on the show and then we can get you in there if you want to fly out and be on a show. But what we hope for people is like, hey, in my city, I want to figure out where I stand to be like, yo, I'm ready to either I'm, I'm a dope opener or I'm getting to a point of being a headliner. Then that makes it easier for you to go on tour. So it's just clicking the slot and we start seeing if we can get you on shows. So as we get more and more shows, it gets easier to get slots and then you can just click and that's the booking. <laughs> that's it. Like that's basically it. So you have some artists who are on here right now who are showing progression and let's say they went from being like 10 ticket sellers to 15 to 20 ticket sellers. And like they just click on and they automatically get shows very fast because they're in a space where they're good for the show to help all the other artists on the roster to gain fans. And that's what this is kind of like community working to be like, yo, we're going to all bring our fans. And then that makes sense for us to gain new fans and then go to another show and then get, uh, switch with other artists. Some people are at the point where they've already sold over 30 and they started making money as a as an opener. You know what I'm saying? And they're ready to be like, yo, I'm ready to get to headliner. 
And then at headliner, sometimes you have dudes that are still selling under 50, but they're doing their thing and they're trying to progress to get to 50 or more. And then when they get over 50, they're making money and stuff like that. And they're going like, yo, I'm ready to tour. So and then we figure out tours for them so they can start building in other cities. And then they get to the point where they're going in tons of different cities. I have like maybe four or five artists. I think currently it's like five or six artists on tour currently as we speak. And some of them are already going out of state. So they're already going to uh, I have one artist right now that has maybe four or five dates in Colorado, then has a date in Arizona, has a date in Utah and has a date in um, San Diego. So that's (laughs) you see what I'm saying? Like they're already moving how they need to move. They're gaining traction in these other places and they're starting to figure out, hey, this is how much I got to do this so I can start getting to a point of either whether I'm making this a career or whatever I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm building to the point of being successful in this music game without a label and I'm controlling it all just by booking a show like that. Now, once you book a show, of course, let's go down to the like the regular like what's going to happen when you click book a show and let's say you get accepted you're going to read over all the details of what need to what need to happen you're going to sign that and then you're going to get what the breakdown and the requirements of that show are you're going to agree to those and then from there all you're really doing is you're going to get your tickets whether they are physical tickets or their online tickets and you start doing what you need to do, getting your fans ready to come. That's it. And then where your amount lies is what, how long your set is affects how long your set is and how, where in the night you go. And then you, you, the week of you'll get the, you'll email your music to DJ. And then the night of you show up, you do your thing, your fans come you do your thing, you network with everybody, gain more fans, on to the next show. And click again. Cutting out all the other stuff, all the extra stuff of the politics, everything like that. Because the dudes be having politics, they homie be going on when, whenever he want to go on. So no, this is fully based on ticket sales, wherever you stand, and that's how we work this. So it's fair for everybody. It's, hey, get on the grind. Find fans, because that's that's what we all here to do. It's find fans. And if you have a product that doesn't have no consumers, then you don't have a product. <laughs> like that's what it is. That's what the name of the game is. So you get on and then you do that. You get on to your show. So you're basically booking yourself. I'm not really the booker. I'm just giving them, I'm just putting the shows up. I'm just putting all the shows up, all the all the concert shows up. I'm just putting them up. And you guys book yourselves. You know what I'm saying? And you promote and stuff like that. We put some promotion out for every show, of course. And then you guys are promoting it to all your fans. All the other artists are promoting it, too. So that's how you get everybody to come. And that's the easy way to book a show these days. Because I told you, back in my day, I had, to know the, I had to know the venue. I had to pay for the venue sometimes. I had to go find the bookers and and be cool with the bookers and all this stuff like that. They got to like you and all. No, no. This isn't nothing like that. I don't have to know you. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, yo, do you agree to these details? Let's make it work. Come out and do your thing. And that's how we do it from here. You know, and for those, some people think uh, like this app is every genre. I have, I've had everyone perform. Now, of course, there are more rappers that do this because, of course, rap is more of a, a genre that allows you to kind of be a like a gypsy vibe and just do your thing and then go everywhere and stuff like that. But I'm hoping that tons of other artists have tons of rock artists. Like one of our top artists is kind of a rock artist, like a rock pop artist. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I want everyone to come out and do their thing, you know, and show what their talent is. You know, that's what this is all about. So they can start moving up the ladder. So this is for every genre that's hidden tied to one genre it's everybody because everybody can have fans and do their thing. It's just that some other genres are tied so close to the music industry that they don't believe in how we do it over here. But to me, I could care less because I'm not in the music industry. <laughs> like, so, hey, come do your thing. Get on the shows. 
you know, build your career up, start understanding what you need to start being successful. And that makes it easy for all of us. That makes it easy for everybody to just do their thing and figure out a blueprint to success. And that's what the goal is. That's why the name of this show is Music is a Day Job. So, once again, this is Music is a Day Job. I'm your host, Sean. It's brought to you by the Concert App. As I said, the Concert App isn't in every place yet. So, definitely tell everyone you know that's a musician to get on the app because that makes it quicker for us to be able to reach out and get out there as soon as possible. Um... If it is in your area, definitely start getting on shows or go to the Q2 conferences that are available so we can talk more about this and how to use the app and how to be successful in music and make music a day job. Um, If you do know any venues, definitely let us know because then we can start talking to those venues so we can get shows in those areas. Also, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. It's the main thing to do. Like, comment and subscribe so we can get this out to the world. This music is a day job. I'm your host, Sean.